Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everybody's well. So, the cusp baby reading isn't going to be in all signs this month. I've had to divide this up into the uh, 12 different readings because, um, well, it's just easier to do like 12 20 minute ones and fit it into my schedule at this point than to try to cram in an hour and a half to two hours out of a single day devoted to one reading. So, that being said, Sagittarius Capricorn, it is time for your cusp baby readings. If it resonates, cool. If not, it's not meant for you. And that's okay. It is you, your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome. Everybody's always welcome at my table. If you're new here, thanks for coming by. Hope we vibe and stuff. If you'd like to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know when I upload, you can come hang out more often. That'd be super cool of you. We'd love to have you. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Bye. I appreciate you guys as well. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel, and it all helps the messages to be circulated through those who may need them. So. For those of you who don't know what a cusp baby is, if you were born in a certain set of dates between two zodiac signs, you are a cusp baby. The dates for that will be in the description box of this channel, so you know if it's meant for you. But anybody's welcome to watch it. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Absolutely. If you can take a message out of it, then it was meant for you. Okay, we're going to invoke the cards and throw them down. One more shuffle. Not quite there yet. There we go. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask pretty messages you have for the Sagittarius Capricorn Cusp Babies in my collective and all those who may see this video. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring those querents to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay, let's throw them down. The magician and the fool in the reverse. The magician is your overall. The fool in the reverse is your challenge. You gotta be careful with this shit. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> watch your thoughts. And watch what comes out of your mouth. Because the universe is listening very closely right now. Very closely. And this is self-defeating energy. This is fear. This is not trusting your judgment. You got to be careful with this. Give me some events. Six of Pentacles reversed, the Knave of Cups, and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Why is it all happening? Three of Pentacles reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed, and Justice. Outcome. World reversed, make a break. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Death at the bottom of the deck. Changes of foot, y'all. Changes of foot. This is about spiritual evolution right now. Spiritual evolution. Let's get some clarity.
to me about the Six of Pentacles reversed. This is an event coming up for this month. Well, November going into December. Temperance into the devil. Hmm. Temperance. Huh. One more. I'm hearing it's not as balanced as you want it to be. Six of cups into the seven of cups. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this. To be very careful with this. That's an apology. This feels so puppet strings and confusion. It's not balanced. It's not level. It's not equal give and take. <sighs> something you're bound to some it's a soul bond it's a soul bond so you guys have been kicking it for a minute you guys have been kicking it through the ages it's never been level I don't like that temperance into the devil I don't it's like they're saying one thing but doing another. There's like this weird toxic undertone to it. Five of wands, six of wands. There's going to be a conflict. Talk to me about this apology. What's up with this Nave of Cups? Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups. You're hesitating, and you're hesitating for a reason. I see an end to that, though. Why this Nine of Swords reversed? Nine of Swords into the Ten of Swords. I don't make this shit up, guys. more on that. There's a reason you're hesitating. The wheel reversed, justice reversed. There's a reason you're hesitating. It's not going to be balanced if it comes back. They're trying to convince you and you're hesitating. One on the full reversed.
Ten of Coins, Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords reversed. One more. Five of swords. You moved on from this once. You declared victory over this once. You did what was best for you. You worked on you. Your abundance. You went off on a new path. You found the truth in it. I was wrong. It's not self-defeating thoughts because you're hesitating for a reason. But don't go manifest in bullshit either. If there's a reason for you to be hesitating, absolutely. If you're hesitating for no reason, this probably isn't your reading. It probably stopped at the full reversed. There's conflict. There's something coming back, trying to level a playing field with you, but there's... God, how do I put this? It's just this toxic undertone. I need one more on the Seven of Cups. Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. They may walk away from hesitation. Holy shit. Before you go off on your new path, you need to process this. I would like to be seen as an option. But dredging all this up again, it's only going to cause pain. It's only going to cause pain. I feel like you have a very important decision to make. Why is it? We're going to address why it's happening now. We're already 15 minutes into this. We haven't even talked about why it's happening. Three of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Injustice. Nine of Coins reversed. Somebody was codependent. That's why it didn't come together. Somebody was needy. Needy, needy, needy. Five of coins reversed. King of cups, emotionally withdrawn. Why justice? Why justice? Thank you. Nine of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Six 
seven of wands reversed, eight of wands reversed. This feels like divine intervention with this justice card. Things stopped for a reason. There's a reason why the universe didn't give you what you wanted because it knew deep down you didn't want it. Whatever this was was stopping your spiritual evolution and now it's trying to come back. And it's only going to impede your progress. But the universe is saying, if you really want it, we'll do it. But you're probably not going to like the result. Talk to me about this world reversed. Talk to me about this world reversed as the outcome. Eight of swords reversed. Nine of swords reversed. King of Swords, into the Page of Swords, Six of Coins reversed, into the Seven of Coins reversed. That's a wake-up call. World reversed, full reversed at the bottom of the deck. I'm not even going to clarify this. This did not come together, and here's why. This is all happening because it didn't come together the first time because divine intervention stopped it. There was neediness here. There was codependency. I don't know who was the codependent. One doesn't really matter at this point. Whoever wasn't needy and codependent was emotionally withdrawn and just couldn't deal with it anymore. I feel like this is coming back around to finally show you that you definitely do not want this back. I think some of you may have been trying to call this back in. Why? I don't know. Maybe you miss them. Roll reverse, full reverse to the bottom of the deck. All right. Knight of Swords, I choose my battles carefully. Yes, you choose your battles carefully with this one. One more. One more out of the Crystal Power. Not five. One. One. Ace of Cups, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Might want to close this one out first. I can deal with whatever comes my way. I'm inspired to follow my passion. High Priestess, my intuition guides me to the truth. You need to let your intuition guide you here. Sag cap. I don't know what the hell just happened on my table, but I don't like it. One on the Wisdom Oracle. One out of the Wisdom Oracle. One out of the Wisdom Oracle. You gonna make me pick one or are you gonna give me one? By the book. Higher power. Number eleven. The universe works within a structure, divine laws, and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature 
or only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting in... <coughs> Sorry, reflecting instinctive understanding that harmony is important. It is a time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being a rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easy to go by the book at this time. <laughs> well! That seemed appropriate. Higher power. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then, get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely guided. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp Babies. This has been your reading for November, December. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you next month. Until then, love and light and be blessed.